What's up everyone? Welcome back to the next adventure. I'm Bob. I'm out on the motorcycle today. I decided that it's a beautiful day for a motorcycle ride. So I came out and I'm on the old Sertau, as you can see over there, the Sertau, however you want to pronounce it. But it's beautiful out. I just stopped here because I'm in the middle of the mountains. I'll see if you can see behind me quite a bit of traffic coming up this road so I'm gonna try to get off the beaten path and maybe do a little off-roading on the bike since I haven't had it out in a while maybe hit a little single track if I can find some uh, there's one structure that I'm gonna go pull up to and hopefully it'll be pretty cool I hope it's not too packed but we'll find out so I'm gonna hop back on the bike and mosey around I just been cruising all over the place zigzagging and it's pretty cool over here I haven't explored much of this area and I think I need to check more of it out because I think there's plenty of potential as you can tell lots of uh, I think right here yeah lots of logging happens in these hills this is uh, lots and lots of logging in the Olympic Peninsula but I'm gonna jump on the bike and let's go find some stuff <laughs> Well, we made it to that structure I was talking about. So what this is, is this is what they call a high steel bridge. That's the name of it. And I'm not, I think they built it for a railroad, but I took a photo of the actual uh, documentation at the beginning here. So I'll post that right here. You can pause it and read that. But we're gonna go walk over it real quick and take a peek at it because it's pretty high up. Seems like I come across these quite a bit out here. They just kind of shut the road off. I'm assuming it's because it's eroded right here and they don't have a way to fix it or something. But I could 
totally make it past that. I didn't see anything that said you couldn't ride a motorcycle past it. I think this gets you to the lake, so if it gets you to the back side of the lake, could be pretty cool to check out. We just left the high steel bridge. Nah, pretty neat, wasn't it? That's a pretty cool place. As I don't like how there's always people on the on the bridge, but what can you do when you have a cool place? It attracts people, which is cool. I'd rather them come out here and explore around. I think we're gonna attempt this. Let's go see if we can get to the lake, shall we? Well, shucks, they really cut it off way down there. So this one was easy, but as you saw, the one that just turned up wasn't so easy. Uh, they really shut it down. You can't get to the back side of the road unless you hike, which one of these days we might hike in there with a hammock or something and do an overnighter, but not today. All right, well, I'm just gonna hop on the motorcycle and cruise around on these roads. And if I see anything cool, I'll kick on the camera. Huh. Wonder what this is all about. You can see here there's tire tracks. There's a truck tried to crawl up it. <laughs> well, I guess somebody just uh, banded their car here. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Yep, just an abandoned car. Cool. Again, as you can see, it's just right where the green line is. That's a bummer. I thought I found a new way. Another spot in the road that's a dead end. Dang it. So after that last spot that I was trying to get to the lake, I seen a spot on the map that kind of did a big loop around that would get you to the lake also. So I did it. It was a you know, 40 minute ride out of the way but I thought it might be cool to check out, but they really don't want you to get down there, which is super bummer because it's the other side of the lake and I think it'd be pretty cool. So what we're gonna do, looks like from here, it's about a mile. So we're gonna walk it. I think I could get my bike around this, but I have no idea what's down the road and I'm by myself and I don't wanna try to get into my get into any trouble without a way out. So, uh, so yeah. Let's take a hike and see what happens and see if we can find a way into the lake because it could be really neat. All right, let's do it. That's yeah, pretty crazy. Fall is upon us. Some of these trees are already changing colors. But here's a fork in the road. And I remember on the map, I believe we want to go right and then I think we want to stay right. Okay, so looking at the map, Glad I didn't stay right. That would have took us out of the way. So I came from the the left road here. Came from over here. So it looks like that road, none of these roads go anywhere. Other than one I came in on, but they have it shut off. So we're going to try to shoot for that green right there. So it should be this direction. And judging by, judging by this map, I'm pretty close to halfway there. So... Let's go see what it's all about. Well, that's quite the bummer. Hiked all the way down here to, to get another gate. That yeah, drives a guy crazy, doesn't it? Oh, well. So there was another road that went down. It turned, but it went away from the lake. So I don't know if it'll get me there or not. So I think I'm going to hike back out of here towards the motorcycle. And I just hiked back to the, the bike here. 
I could definitely make it around there, but I have an idea. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna fly the drone up and see if we can either find an access or at least I can get you guys some footage of the lake I tried to make it to. But I think the drone should give us an idea of what we're looking at and if it's worth just hopping over that with the bike or not. So let's see what we can see. Well, we flew up, now we've seen what was over there. It looks like we're not gonna be able to get to the water, even if we try to bypass this barrier here. That lake looks pretty cool from above. I've never actually seen it from above. I've seen it from the other side only, so that's pretty neat. And I think that's gonna tie it up for this adventure, being that we can't get to the lake. So I'm gonna get back on the motorcycle and head on out and mosey my way back home. And if you're still with me, thanks for watching and on to the next adventure.